Christmas. In Christian faith, Christmas is one of the biggest activity as it marks the birth of Christ Jesus. Luke chapter 2 verse 10 to 11 says, But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I will bring you good news. I will bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people today in the town of David a Savior has been born to you. Is Christ the Lord? It is amazing how people of different ages, cultures, and civilization see Christmas. If you should ask some people, what is the understanding of Christmas? Many will say that Christmas is a time that God has been has decided never to be silent in his relationship with mankind. And it is a time we celebrate that Christmas is a time that God chose to become man, left his glory in heaven and was incarnated in the flesh to redeem each one of us from our sins through his sacrificial death and his blood. Yes, the words are true. All the statements of these people are real and true. We need to understand that Christmas is not the time reserved only for shopping, commercialization, socialization, and arts that are not connected with the celebration of the incarnated Christ. Christmas, God became man to redeem us from our sins. Man has been held captive by his own sinful nature. The blood of any of the fallen Adam was sinful and could not atone for the sins of man. That which is born of the flesh. The spotless, sinless, and precious blood of Christ Jesus is the only one that is efficacious and potent to provide redemption for the sinful man and God's love made Christ Jesus to incarnate in the flesh to pay ransom for our sins. John chapter 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Christmas, we must receive the good news and identify with the real and the person consigned of Christmas. Jesus, the Lamb and the beloved Son of God. We must identify with the Savior of the world, Christ and Lord of Christmas. We encourage you at this Christmas to make Jesus Christ the Savior of your life and everything that consigns 
you. Submit totally to him. Allow him be in charge of your life. This year, you may be looking for Christmas blessings or prayers. To read, to mark this monometer moment in your religion. Praying is not only a meaningful addition to your Christmas dinner, but also call guests in towards reflecting on their relationship with God. Why blessings and messages from the Bible can be set in the intention for the holiday full of hope and joy. If your family follows the Christian religion, incorporating powerful prayers into your holiday routine, can also be a great way to get into the spirit of Christmas. Our list of the best Christmas blessings and prayers also has the power to uplift others and send strength to sick family members who may not be able to join the festivities this year. Reading one of these Christmas messages to those individuals or saying your favorite verses over the phone will lift or light up their day. You could even write one in your card as a seasonal greeting. Christmas is a very important activity in the life of Christians. We love Christmas. Others love Christmas because of what they will eat. But love Christmas because Christ has been born to take away your sins and give you joy and happiness not about the food you are going to eat not about the parties others use christmas into a immoral heart that is not the sense of christmas those people have already fall themselves into doom christmas is a period of joy a celebration that a savior has been born we pray that the blessing of Jesus Christ, the Savior and Lord, will be your portion this Christmas. That evil will not take you away in this Christmas. Obey the law of Christmas. A savior has been born, not a devil. A savior full of righteousness and holiness. Don't forget, it's not a time for pleasure. It's a time to reflect that a savior has come to take away all our sins not for you to have to the one you have committed. It's a time to reflect of your life and to reflect of the love of Christ Jesus to you. I pray for all of you. May this Christmas bring joy and greatness into your life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now some great men gave some prayers of Christmas. Thank 
thank you for coming to earth. So you could save me when I think of your love. It makes me want to shout, to celebrate, and to sing with thanksgiving. You love me so much that I am so grateful for your love. Without you, I would still be lost and in sinful. But because of everything you have done for me, today I am free. My life is blessed. Jesus, you are my Lord. And Satan has no right to control me. I will be eternally thankful to you for everything you did to save me. This prayer was composed by Martin Ikeki. When the song of the angels is still, when the star in the sky is gone, when the king's priests are home, when the shepherds are back with the flocks, when the world of Christmas begins to find the lost, to heal those broken in spirit, to feed the hungry, to release the oppressed, to rebuke the nations, to bring peace among all peoples, to make a little music with the hearts and to radiate the light of Christ every day in every way in all that we do and in all that we see then the work of Christmas begin this prayer was said by Howard Thomas see the beautiness of Christmas with a beautiful prayers attached to it. Let your goodness, Lord, appear to us that we made in your image. Conform ourselves to it. In our own strength, we cannot imitate your majesty. Power and wonder, none is it fitting for us to try but your mercy reaches from heaven through the cloud to the earth below you have come to us as a small child but you have brought us the greatest of all gifts the gift of eternal love cares us with your tiny hands embrace us with your tiny arm and pierce our hearts with your soft sweet cries amen saint bernard of clever christmas is a good activity in the life of christians but today People have turned Christmas into a main immoral activity. What a shame. People are ignorant of Christmas. People no longer know the meaning of Christmas. See these beautiful prayers. Beautiful and wonderful. I want every one of us to use this Christmas as a reflection of our life. The life we live and how to adjust our life. A Savior has been born. He left his glorious heaven to earth. 
He left a place filled with milk and honey to a place of hardship. For your sake and for my sake. And yet, we are misusing it. We no longer acknowledge Jesus as our Savior. Use this Christmas to change your life and come fully to Jesus. Submit yourself totally. Your totality depends where you will go to. Jesus is waiting for you. In two days' time, people will be jumping from place to place, celebrating. Or that might even be in a hotel room, misusing the, the, the time, the day that's supposed to be made for God. Others will be in a beer parlor, drinking their life, forgotten that that day is the day the Savior has been born. Change your ways and let Jesus be in charge of you. Use this time to get the meaning of Christmas. Submit yourself totally and let Jesus be your God. Why you become the sons and daughters of the Savior, the infant Jesus, the King, the God of the Holy Family, to be born. What preparation have you done to prepare of His coming? It's not too late. Two days is big for you to come back to Him totally. And He will not deny you. Your plan that you have made to go to a place to drink yourself up and become drunk. Change it. The time you want to spend there, spend it with your Savior. Spend it with Him. The plan you have made to be with one boy or one girl who has not married to you. Change it. It's not important. You will end up destroying yourself. That's why many persons cry. I am poor. I am poor. Now look the time you have to be with your Savior. You want to waste it. For just something that will not last you for two minutes. Change. God will help us. But help yourself. Why I help myself? I pray for you. Almighty God. Who has poured upon us the new light of your incarnation world? Grant that the same light a candle in our hearts may shine forth in our lives through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the blessing of joy abide within you. May the blessing of peace rest upon you. May the blessing of love flow out through you. May all the blessings of the Lord be yours at this Christmas. And in the new year, may your head enter the new year. And may celebration continue to follow you all through Christ our Lord. Amen.